Ancon Hospital. Excerpts from the book Sanitation in Panama by William Crawford Gorges, 1915. For the 14 years after the failure of the old French company in 1889, Ancon Hospital had financially a most straitened time, and the sisters who were in charge had to reach out in all directions to make both ends meet. They deserve a great deal of credit for the brave and successful struggle which they made in supplying the wants of the sick entrusted to them. Major Lagarde, of the United States Army, was appointed superintendent of Ancon Hospital, and took charge in June, 1904. He rapidly and successfully proceeded to organize the hospital on such a basis that it was always able to care properly for all patients who presented themselves. For the first year there were almost insuperable difficulties in the way of getting supplies of all kinds, but gradually these troubles were corrected. We used all the old French buildings in much the same manner as had the French. As the number of patients increased, the old French buildings were enlarged, generally by adding a second story, and a few new buildings were added, until finally the capacity of the hospital had risen to 1500 beds. Into all these buildings a piped water supply was introduced, and the bucket system for night soil was everywhere replaced by modern flush closets. Bathing facilities were also supplied wherever needed. A good sewage system connected all these buildings with the sewers of the city of Panama. The old lighting system of candles and lamps were replaced by electric lights. All the buildings were thoroughly screened with wire netting. This precaution was almost essential in the early years before we got mosquito breeding as thoroughly under control as it later became. 